Golf GTI or Golf R? Which one would you have? There's been big, big discussions taking place in our YouTube and Facebook channel recently. And a lot of that's been around Golf GTI versus Golf R. And people uh, debating, arguing, almost fighting sometimes. It gets weird. Uh, whether to have, whether they have a GTI or a Golf R. Main differences between Golf GTI and Golf R is the engines. So the specs are up, the engine specs are up on the, uh, on the screen now for you to take a look at. What surprised us recently is that um, more people are going to go GTI than Golf R, which I would have never guessed in a million years. So it's got us thinking what GTI would we spec up uh, over a Golf R? You need to get yourself over to the VW configuration page on Volkswagen's website, spec up your Golf R, your GTI, get the configuration code and stick it in the comments section below and tell us what car you'd have. So for far too long today, I've been messing around on the VW configuration page. Too long actually. Uh, and I have now got my ideal spec of the car that I'd have on the GTI. So I'm gonna go through that now. Firstly, first things first, I'm going automatic all day, all day long. Got to be a DSG, not driving the manual, too lazy. Yeah. And the DSG gearbox is far, far too good. I just wouldn't do without it. But I'm also going to go for the performance. So I'm going to get that extra 15 uh, brake horsepower. So I'm going to increase this performance to get 245 PS. Colour wise, I've got to go white silver. It's going to cost me an extra 500. <laughs> <laughs> it's <a> chilly. <laughs> you need your GTI coat as I well. I know, yeah. It's a 570 pound option, but I love white silver. I've got to go for that over the black Ruben, which is the standard uh, colour for the GTI. Next up, I'm changing from the uh, 18 inch Parkers because they just don't do it for me. And go for the 19 inch uh, Santiago alloy wheels. Not cheap at 990 pounds, but I think they're definitely, definitely worth it. Do you want to get in the car? Hey? Should we get in the car? No, I'm alright. Right, before we carry on with the rest of the spec, we're going to go in the car because it is f***ing freezing. Better. Much, much better. That wind is biting, but it is October. What do you expect? Yeah. I mean, we are in Liverpool, so. Right, so, I have upped the engine to the performance. I've gone for the DSG gearbox and I've changed the paint to white silver. So, uh, and I've upped the um, alloys as well to the 19 inch Santiago's. The next thing we're gonna do on the exterior, another big expensive option, but I'm gonna put a big bit of glass here. I'm gonna go for the pan roof. Again, 990, 995 pounds, something like that. Especially when you're going for a light color car, like the white silver, or even if you went for pure white, that the contrast between the two colours is just unbelievable and something if I was going to spec up my dream GTI <clears throat> that's one thing that I would not do without a tinted glass it's like 95 quid but again against like a white silver paint just looks absolutely the dogs lastly I'm going to upgrade this sound system so I can listen to talk sport <laughs> <laughs> a 550 pound option I only picked it because it sounded cool a lot of the ask because there's tinted talks but so and lastly i'm going to upgrade to the dyn audio excite sound pack it's a 550 pound option but i was out in a gti a couple weeks ago and it had that sound system in there and it just was completely different to the standard standard um sound system that's in the gti much much better so definitely going to upgrade to that all those options all in told uh give us an on the road price of 34,750 pound which is around the same price as a standard Golf R uh, DSG. So I'm getting a ton of extra spec for the same money. So if you like the spec of the GTI that I've just configured, give us a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to get yourself over to the VW page, configure your GTI or Golf R, because don't forget, let us know if you'd rather have a Golf R as well, and put the config code uh, in the comments section so we could take a look at your dream car. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.